Here's the big story for the day. John Stewart overvalued New York City apartment by 829%, yet accuses Trump of crime for overvaluing. Quote, the attorney general of New York knew that Trump's property values were inflated because when it came time to pay taxes, Trump undervalued the very same properties. Now, we talked about this story because I stumbled upon this uh, rather in real time and by accident. I had been doing a segment on John Stewart criticizing Kevin O'Leary, who is a real estate developer who I would say passively defended Trump in the fraud trial in New York, in, in New York State. They claim that it's not just about New York properties either. It's about lenders in New York and even D.C. properties and, and, and Florida. They claim that Donald Trump committed fraud by overvaluing the properties to secure larger loans when he knew they weren't uh, worth as much. And how did he know? Well, John Stewart says, because when it came time to pay taxes, he paid a lower amount. As any sane human being who works in real estate or has ever bought a house knows, or maybe maybe just perused Zillow, tax assessed value is done by the government, by usually a local assessor, and it is typically different from the real market value. To argue that Trump committed fraud over this is to lie. So while I was doing the segment, I said, I'm sure John Stewart sold property, right? Well, sure enough, big news that he sold the property for 17.5 million. I pulled up the county records and what did I find? The actual assessed value, market value, not tax assessed, from the city was 1.8 million. Why then would John Stewart sell it substantially higher than that? To make matters worse, according to the Post Millennial, actually, it's the New York Post who covered the story. The individual who bought it ended up selling it a few years later for 13 million, losing more than $4 million, a 26% 20 loss. So dare I say, John Stewart overvalued a property at sale telling a person it was worth 17.5 when he knew the government said it was 1.8. That individual lost $4 million. Dare I say, John Stewart, if by his standard, Trump has committed fraud, so has he. Well, John Stewart responded to the story. He says, OMG, I've been caught doing something not remotely similar to Trump. I guess all I need to do now is start a fraud college, steal classified documents, bankrupt casinos, pay hush money, grab women, Discriminate in housing, cheat at golf, and foment insurrection, and you'll revere me. I got to make it uh, really simple for you, John. Here's what, here's what I propose. We seize all your assets just like they're doing to Trump, and then we don't send you to prison for insurrection because you did not commit one. Is that a standard by which you're, you're, you're willing to engage in politics? Because I'm willing to, uh, I, okay, I, I guess Trump's an insurrectionist. John, I, I guess we'll seize all your assets now. You want to play that game? We can play that game. Here's where we're currently at. And I want to make sure it's clear. John Stewart bought the property for $5.8 million. I want to make sure everybody understands this. He was paying taxes on a rate of 700. I believe uh, uh, they have it. Actually, it's, it's it's my tweet. He was paying taxes on a rate of 748000 per year. This is really interesting. I think uh, Mike Cernovich actually has a, uh, uh, a good take on this. He said, you didn't pay your fair share of taxes. Another smug hypocrite with no values, with no values. That's interesting. All of these New York limousine liberal types, if you look at the tax assessed value on their $20 million condos, they're assessed at like $900,000. That is insane. None of these limousine liberals in New York are paying their fair share. Well, I think it's high time. Thank you, Leticia James. We start going after every single one of these liberals in New York. I mean, we, I've, we've talked about this a little bit uh, on the show in the past. I think it's time for conservative AGs to use the government to start punishing the crap out of anyone that's jaywalked, politically motivated. If you're a Democrat and you have broken the law, conservative AG should throw the book at you. If you've broken the law, there should be, should be absolute onslaught of laying down the law against <laughs> Democrats that have broken the law. If you, it's, that's that's what they want. That's exactly what they're doing. That's but, what they've done to the J, to the January 6 people that just walked around that actually didn't do anything wrong. That's what Democrats have been doing to conservatives for ages. Time to start acting like you have some power if you have some power. But should, shouldn't all the liberals in New York be happy <clears throat> to be paying this additional taxes so yeah. it could fund? All the newcomers that they're putting up at the Roosevelt. That's right. And everywhere. I mean, all these people, they need, they need to be supported. So the liberals should be happy to contribute more of their income to the city. So it's their the fair city can share. Yeah, absolutely. This is actually quite remarkable yeah. that none of these people are paying their fair share. But to be fair, a lot of the progressives who are complaining and demanding they do are not people who own $20 million condos. So let's roll, baby. J Letitia James opened the door for this. And I yep. think the reason why Kevin O'Leary is freaking out, I think when you start looking into this, 
This is where you start to realize she may have just destroyed yep. the entire real estate market because now the argument is, look, that 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 market value for for his condo apparently now is only 14 million because that guy lost four million dollars on it. But the reality is it's assessed value is one point eight. If they're not paying taxes on it, they're either tax cheats or they're over inflating the value of their properties. And for what reason? I say we go after them. They got to pay their fair share. Yep. John Stewart, time to pony up your taxes. How much are you not paying on your? On, they, they, I Googled it. His, his, his net worth is estimated $120 million. Ugh. How much is he not paying? Got to pay their fair share. He, 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 Absolutely. Is pay, he is not paying millions and millions of dollars, I bet. You know, I want to give a shout out to Gen Z, too, because when we talk about wealthy people paying their fair share and it going to newcomers, if there were a fair share to be paid, at the very least, it would go to the younger generation who is inheriting this country. But it is not. It's going to strange people who just showed up. Maybe we should get some Gen Z. Maybe this is why Gen Z has become so based. Well, Gen Z doesn't even realize this. I mean, if, they, if you look at housing prices, which have risen so dramatically, one of the reasons is the millions of people who are now in the country illegally all have to live somewhere. And that's driving real competition for housing pricing. And so you may not see it influence you in your everyday life, but wherever you are in America, your housing prices are influenced by the vast influx of people who are in our country in the last three years and quite frankly, don't belong here. James Lindsay's getting in on the, in on the John Stewart uh, memeing too. He's retweeting this <laughs> stuff about him. So, I mean, look, like I said, time to start throwing the book at, at at Democrats. If you've broken the law, again, this is not saying that anyone that hasn't broken the law shouldn't be, or you know, if you don't have evidence, you shouldn't create it. So we're actually being better than the Democrats if you aren't creating uh, evidence to to justify an investigation. But if there's evidence investigate them I, if they've I, broken the law throw the book at them i think we should have um any i i, I think let's it's time to, it's time to play ball baby yeah. i think i think I, I don't know phil maybe you go a little too far saying even if they're jaywalking but at the very least i can say this republicans who in any way have any uh, uh legal control uh da's governors whatever if john stewart I, how much you want to bet he's got property in florida oh yeah it's time to open up the books baby and it doesn't matter when when they when they went after Donald Trump in New York, they attacked they, they went after him over his D.C. hotel. That's not in New York. Yep. It doesn't matter. Correct. The lending was. And that's where they say the underlying crime took place. OK, let's roll Florida. Are we going to get anybody in Florida? Start looking at John Stewart's. I say it's time to throw the book at all these individuals and say John Stewart admitted on his show that paying a lower tax rate than the market value was fraud. How is it? Well, th then here's what we do. You get him in court to admit he lied and he knew what he was saying was false. Bring him to court, make him admit it. Yeah. And and a good a good lawyer should be able to do it. I mean he's 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 they he's provided enough information of his own volition. He's told his opinion about people that are uh you know trying to get over on taxes and he's also, you know, then there's public records for obviously for for whatever he paid and he's and boxed himself in yeah. i mean because even in that response he didn't address he didn't address the charge he went on to all these other things yep he's bringing up everything else it's just deflection deflection Ooh, look over here don't look at what i did with the taxes look at all these other issues that i'm bringing up that you should be afraid of and that's I, why I, that's why my response is okay uh so we won't pr imprison you for insurrection but we'll seize all your assets yeah how's 500 million dollars sound I mean, and, and there is no, the sky, exactly like you said, the sky is the limit as to how much they should, they should yeah, charge. They, they you know, made that number up. Just fat, like yank a good number out of the year. They made, they created a billion dollars so they could go after Alex Jones. Like right. they made that number well, the, up. The actual number that was requested of Jones was the GDP of France. Yeah, it was I like mean, two trillion dollars. No, no, for real, it was. It's it, that's it's crazy. so, like, so <laughs> that's, that's exactly the thing. Like it's just ridiculous. <laughs> and and the charges against Jones are charges that he said things that were wrong. Naughty words. He said the wrong thing. He said things that caused pain and suffering, and it should be a billion dollars. But that's the thing. John Stewart doesn't say the wrong thing, and because he's in group, right? Yes. But but he actually he did say the wrong thing on Colbert once. You remember back a year or so ago, he made that joke about the Wuhan lab and he's been on an apology tour for that ever since he had to give, he gave a, he hung a medal on a literal Nazi in Disney world in August of 2022. Did you guys see that? I didn't realize it was an actual he, Nazi. He put a medal on a Nazi at Disney world and, and there's, there's uh, pictures of this, of this guy. He's got like the, uh, the, the black uh, Nazi son and rad black sun tattoo. Oh. Wait, wait, John Stewart. He really? hung a medal on a Nazi. Whoa, 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 I, I got what? the story right really? here. It's, it's, it's from the gray zone. 
<laughs> well, I mean, as to why, I couldn't say. But I, knew, I do know that he is going to, ever since he made that joke on, uh, on Colbert's show and got a little bit of hot water on him, you know, he has been on an, an apology tour for the regime. He gave that, that tongue bath interview to Hillary Clinton and Condoleezza Rice. Did you guys see that? I didn't, but that is, I'm mean, tongue bath for Hillary Clinton is pretty standard for Democrats. Uh, but, if you know what's good for you. But he's been, he, after that one joke, he fell in line hard and he's been falling in line ever since. So, I mean, uh, there's, there's really no, when you say he's boxed in, he's boxed in with that regime too. Like he has to be their foot soldier now, that no is, matter what. That's a good point that I did, that I didn't think of is, is the fact that he really, he stepped out of line one time and yep. like, look out. Back in over. line, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Crack that whip. Yeah. So he's good. He's safe. He, so, so that's why he can deflect and he doesn't really have to an have any, you know, uh, reasonable answers when he's pointed out, when, it, when the hypocrisy is pointed out to him. Yeah. So he can always be like, look, man, Donald Trump, don't you know the orange man is bad? Yep. That's all he's got. The great, the, but going back to what I was saying about uh, Kevin O'Leary, you know, he's saying that he's going to flee the state. That he's not going to do his developments. I think what he didn't say is, I've got property in New York and I've done the same thing Trump did. The, the question now is, when John, the guy who bought the property from John Stewart, did that person take a loan out? Because the deflection they do is, no, no, Trump was requesting a loan using false information. It's like, oh, okay. So if John Stewart provides an over-evaluation of the property and an unsuspecting buyer then uses that overvalued number and the bank says, if that's the number, what's the difference? What are they going to say? Yeah, but the but then the bank does their own due diligence, and so does the buyer. Well, that's exactly what happened in Trump's case. They clearly lied about why they're going after Trump. It is a political manipulation game. John Stewart is responding because his story is blowing up, and by responding, he's only made the story bigger and worse. This is going to be. I wonder if we'll address Stry it. Next effect. Week. The post text yeah. up, you know. New York Post was. was I got a high. notification on this. It was the it was the funniest thing. I was in the middle of, I'm like, I'm doing like uh, bicep curls or some nonsense and my phone vibrates and it says the New York Post writes this story and uh, not victimless, not a victimless crime. And I was actually surprised they picked this story up, but they dug deeper and they even went on to find that the guy who bought the property from Stewart actually lost millions of dollars on this. I think it's time to lock him up. That's we got to lock him up. That not, I mean, I feel bad for the guy that lost money, but it is hilarious that you know, tr in Trump's case, everybody's like, no, nah, man, that was a great deal. Everybody made a bunch of money. We're all happy. It was great. And then <laughs> Stewart's here, you know, screwing dudes out of five, four million bucks. Yeah, Way I to go, John I'm Stewart. Gonna, I'm going to bet that the guy who lost $4 million on a property didn't come back and say, well, I do business with him again. He should. I mean, I, I oh, mean no, 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 he's he not going to say that. Yeah. It, here's, the other, here's the other thing about this. If I was the person who lost $4 million, I'd be filing a lawsuit right now. I would file a suit and I would use everything from the Engerin uh, 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 filing uh, statements or, or judgments. And I'd say, look, John Stewart told me it was worth this, but it wasn't. I'm entitled to my money back. I lost four million dollars. What are they going to do? Th this is this is crazy because going after Donald Trump in this way creates a legal precedent now. Yep. Mm -hmm. Anyone could like shout out to anybody who brought property in New York for any price. If there is a disparity between what you spent and the state's assessed value for, on the market, I guess you, they, you're a victim of fraud. I mean, look at this. But I warned, this is what they want. And the New York Post says estimated market value, $1.8 million. The funny thing is, the New York Post blurred out the address, despite the fact that he sold this property years ago. And the, and the New York Times posted the address in the story announcing the sale. So calm down, New York Post. One point eight. This, this is what I think. I think... The communists in New York are going after Trump, not just to go after Trump, but to also set the precedent that only the state can determine value. Hmm. They're willing to lock you up for well, it. Well, if you, if you abandon the free market on that, you're going to scare away all the investors. I mean, I mean, why would you want to start a new program, new real estate, invest in the state of New York if it's just going to be up to the whims of the political party to determine that type of value. Well, that's they, why that's they're going to slay the golden goose. Yeah. Well, that's why Kevin O'Leary is apoplectic about this because, and he keeps stressing this in his whole interview tour. He's just like, this is not about Trump. This is a New York problem now. And he's right. I mean, it's a problem that's going to stay in New York because of this precedent. It's and, insane. Uh, you know, this is, this is something that I have poked at before, but it, like the foundation of our economy and, you know, a big, fundamental pillar of our society in general is property rights and if the if the state is just going to fabricate charges and fabricate a situation so that way they can just take your property it's no different 
than when like like Chavez was in Venezuela just walking through town just going expropriate that expropriate that yep. it's it's no different there's just more uh, pomp and circumstance around it as soon as they set their sights on you if they take Trump's Trump's par- property it, you know that the next person they set their sights on it's a done deal and and and, the, and they're not going to stop this du- this stuff never stops we got to go just once we got a really great super chat here um King uh, Apollyon says, how about we look into Judge Judge Engron and Leticia, Leticia James to see if they have, any, they have any properties. Have they been paying correct taxes? There was a big story where apparently a comparable thing happened. Someone overvalued the property, got a loan on it, refu- d- d- defaulted on the loan, lost a bunch of money, and Leticia, Leticia James didn't go after him. Thanks for watching this clip from the TimCast IRL podcast. Hang out with us live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m., And become a member over at TimCast.com for uncensored members-only shows exclusive. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you all next time.